So speaking of bulging uh, nether regions, uh, I'm not sure if you caught today Tony Armstrong, who's the wonderful uh, reporter at ABC News Breakfast. Now he described um, Tim Bain, Tim Payne, Tim, Tim Bain. This, Dim, this, this Dim is Bain. what he did as well. Tim Bain as having um, a, a bulging dick, which is why he had to have surgery on his neck <laughs> rather than a bulging disc. Australian skipper Tim Payne is set to undergo neck surgery, but medical staff remain confident that the veteran will be fit for the Ashes. Payne has a bulging dick that has been disc that has been. That's a funny one. Has been causing him pain. I'm going to throw to you very quickly, Michael. Bulging what? Disc. Disc. I said disc. That's what, that's what I thought you said. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. I'm just going to drink water. <laughs> Mate, over to you. Why <laughs> Why me? Um, and Tim put it up on his Instagram story and said, yeah, this is right as well. Um, so uh, Tim's got a, a, a bone spur okay. in his spinal column. Uh, he hasn't responded to treatment, which isn't ideal because I would have thought that... Just picking you know, up the phone, going, Tim. Well, Why isn't he responding? Well, yeah. Well, get, get, Take having surgery on September the 14th when, you know, yeah. when the season's come, you know, this is not the right time to have surgery, right? They've said that he'll be all set by the end of October, able to play domestic cricket in mm. November. But that, that has to be, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a positive case scenario. There is always some risk when it comes to surgery, mm. certainly when it comes to that part of the body. So, uh, yeah, a story that came out yesterday uh, it was well managed. They were quite clear about what they were doing, CA, with, with Tim. Uh, but yes, under the knife today. I suppose the two areas can uh, overlap because you can have a hernia downstairs and you can have a herniated disc upstairs. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I was thinking about it. There was a long period of time where you know one of the great jobs to have was Australian Test captain. You know, it's respected. There's there's gravitas. You've got to work hard for it, but it's a great job to have. Then there are the last couple of years when the best job to have is Australian Test Captain. You don't have to do anything. You got your feet up from January to December. You know, you might pop out and play a couple of games for Tasmania, play a bit of club cricket and bowl a few overs in the 50 over stuff <laughs> and club cricket in Hobart for fun. And the rest of the time, oh, I might have to do a Zoom interview with Peter Lawler once a month or something to, to fulfil the contract. And, well, remember you know, he, uh, he, he, went, he went to Darwin as part of the support staff for the, um, yeah. for like, a, it wasn't an Australia A team, it was like a, I don't know. It was a bunch of it was a bunch of next tier guys mm. coming through. He went with um, his old his old former Tassie teammate Shannon Tubb. Um, they were the two side. I'd imagine they had a massive circuit for two weeks. He and Tubby out on the lash whilst coaching the kids. I mean, how good is this? I mean, the, the fact that he's got time to go to the Northern Territory. I suppose you'll never never know if you never never go. But I mean, going up there for uh, for, for two weeks of uh, front and frivolity, front and frivolity. I'm going well. Um, whilst um, notionally uh, being an assistant tame, tame coach. Bin. Bim Bim Tain Tain Timabin Timabin Australian Capitan Tamabin has a dick problem. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah. They're tying the whole thread together with Shannon Tub. Uh, the the the. Uh, right. So that's that's uh, not a problem. Uh, that's not a problem at all. So right. So uh, that's where we've gotten to with Tim Payne. Okay. Uh, and where we've gotten to uh, with the Ashes. Um, yep. But uh, we, there are some more serious issues at play this week as well, though, Jeff. Yeah, we have to take a road that that involves Hobart, uh, that goes goes to Hobart or would have gone to Hobart and does not go to Hobart anymore.